Okay, uh, press the triangle burn to- oh, that's how you turn on the map. Okay, okay. So now we- <clears throat> so now we have full range on everything. Um, there seems to be an office here. I'm not sure if that's like some sort of DA's office or financial aid office or whatever, but it is most certainly an office, which I'm pretty sure where teachers are working with. This is the office, but of course there is no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. Um, who are these people exactly? I can't tell who they are, but they look like white people. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird how there would be pictures of white people. I'm assuming that's like this... I would normally say that might be the teachers, but this is Japan, and... I'm not sure how common it is to have white teachers, or Caucasian teachers, um... In, ja in Japanese schools. I don't know. Maybe this is a prestigious Japanese academy, and therefore, um... There's a lot more transfers, not only to students, but also to, uh, teacher faculties as well. I don't know. There's this thing that's pretty, um, suspicious. Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three- <laughs> I- I wouldn't necessarily say Celeste is smiling, more like irritated because Hifumi's done something bad. <laughs> But, um, the smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. It's just like the picture I saw before. Where are the people that we have not seen yet? I... Hmm. We'd, yeah, we've seen Mondo, we've seen Shahiro, and we've seen Leon. So the first three people who died, basically, sorry, the first four people that died, we have not seen Taka yet, definitely, so he's missing for some reason. <laughs> There's no way this isn't important somehow. Of course, he, uh, sorry, not for me, Monokuma is going to show up out of nowhere, going to snatch the picture and shit, right? They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. Can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in the world of despair like this. So, does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here, including Sayaka. No, there's no way. Motokuma did it. It must be fake. No, you're fake. Monokuma popped out of the nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then, you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there were such a thing as a Nobel Truth Plies, I'd take first, second, and fourth place! W what happened to third? Too bad. Actually, that's probably not true. <laughs> I asked you a question. Oh, sorry, fuck. I should, yeah. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it fake? Mm. Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that you can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. The picture is real. No more, no less. Hmm. I'm starting to think that this might be some sort of, like... The 15 of us that arrived in this school faculty, all of this that's happening right now is somehow ingrained in our memories, or we're in the Matrix. <laughs> we're in the Matrix, and once we die in the Matrix, we actually um, come out of the Matrix, and I guess because of these pictures here, we, uh, whatchamacallit, we, uh, fucking, uh, know each other's existence, and I guess because of that, we're now friends, surely, even when the fact that we try to kill each other and shit. This is interesting. Really interesting indeed. I, I, I'm really curious as to how they portray the ending, whether or not my theory is real or not, or whether or not some sort of other deus, deus ex machina or whatever. Uh, this could be interesting. Or maybe this all could all be real, and... What Moko is doing right now is actually blind. Who knows? We can't really trust the bastard now, can we? <laughs> <laughs> Without a word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's 
Really real? If that's true, if that's the case, then it, w it wouldn't be possible if, uh, maybe it's like Ash in a coma. <gasps> we, Mo M Makoto, is in this long-living coma of some sort, living this per perpetrated nightmare or whatever. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? I, like, anything could happen at this point, honestly. If there are any hit- Oh my god, there's another fucking floor? Really? So there is gonna be more deaths later on. And there's still more waiting for us? Oh boy, okay. Um, this looks like a chemistry lab. Can we make some sort of acidic fluoride in order to melt the bars or whatever? Er. Uh, Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So, this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't go do permanent damage. Alright, Aoi, what do you got? Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in deep, but friendly, but a friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind. But I can't while she's with Hina. Huh? You need something? No, 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 it's nothing. You sure? Okay, then. Alright. And I'm guessing I, the same thing is gonna happen to Sakura. Sakura is lost in the conversation with Hina. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind, but I can't while she was with Hina. What is it, Makoto? Did you need something? No, it's nothing. So then. Really? Well, okay. Du -du -du It's a remarkably big shelf, and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. That's right! Ah! Listen, Makoto, listen! Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me. Okay, Hina, just chill out. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't know before! Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine! Okay. And what? They even have protein zyme X? Oh, have you been taking steroids? Or the female- what is the female equivalent of steroids? Have you been taking steroids at Aoi? Is this how you became all muscular and shit? I'm kinda worried about your health. You know those things are not legal, right? Hey! A high quality protein drink is nothing more like the cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Wow, I, I really need to work on my reading <laughs> comprehension. Uh, anyways. <sighs> this is amazing! It's a gold mine! Ah, my prayers have finally been answered! Time to load up in some more prayers then. A gold mine, huh? I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot of there's a lot to think about, but for now I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. Excuse me for my burping, I am sorry. Um, wasn't there like one oh no no, we can't go to that room, never mind. Two rooms actually that we can go to. Not long after I got into the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes. Why the fuck was that a hero? So, is this everyone? Well then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Okay. I'll start with you, Sakura, since you initiate the thing. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them bulged an inch. In other words. Just like everywhere else. Hmm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. Uh, unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Alright. What have you found in your research, Aoi? Yeah! There was a big shelf in the chem lab of the fourth floor and it had all kinds of chemicals and, uh, chemicals and stuff. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient addictives and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones interested in stuff like that. Mm. Oh, but it's not all that good stuff, though. There, are, there was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that, um... there was also, um... A bunch of different poisons. Oh god, if this next case is gonna have to do with poisonous stuff. Ugh, jeebaries. Poison? Mm. They're all labeled clearly, though, it, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful careful around there. Um. And we probably shouldn't tell Byakuya or Toko about the poison, right? Hmm? Huh? Eventually, they're gonna discover it regardless, though, so I still say there's no point in whatever, but, eh, whatever. What do you mean? Well... Well, just in case, 
You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um, Just in case. Yeah, I think you're right. However... It's Byakuya. It won't be long before he discovers it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open? That's absolutely the work of a mastermind! Alright. <laughs> what the fuck have you got, Yasuhiro? Hmm. I found a couple of rooms on the- Oh! Oh, wait, never mind. But they were locked! The data center and the headmaster's room! The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place where we find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside... What? Who cares about the stupid lock? It should be no problem the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door! What was that? What? Whoa! No, please continue. Did you say I've got the nicest butt in the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Hell no, I didn't! Hey. Then what did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. Yeah. <laughs> Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? That's my room, you know. And it's it is now anyway. Can you shut up, Maruko, and let me voice act? And you're thinking about busting it down? You seriously didn't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? Uh, um... No, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. Yeah, I'm not mad. Greater than sign underscore less than sign. What? what? You're totally mad. G g fuck, what's that thing called? Colon apostrophe underscore colon comma. This is I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add the school regulations! Seriously? <laughs> I feel like that's like basic knowledge or basic obviousism or whatever the fuck you call, but what's the rule gonna dictate? No one shall break entry into the headmaster's room. So it is breakable then. <laughs> if you're stating that. You could just easily say, oh, it is an impenetrable, it's, it's an impenetrable door where you cannot go inwards without a proper unlocking system. But no, you stated it out quite clear that because you're adding this specific rule, it's actually possible to break down the door. Okay then! <laughs> that was easier than I thought, but of course the regulations, and if we're gonna have to abide by those rule sets, that's gonna be a little bit difficult. Too bad! Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks. That seems obvious, but okay. <sighs> is he gone? <sighs> that must mean we can also cannot go to the uh, studies lab or wherever the fuck it's called there in the fourth floor. Whew. Man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he's gonna kill me for serious. But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that. There's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But now that's a rule, there's nothing we can do. We only had we could be able to go through the door if it was unlocked somehow. So we just have to find some sort of unlocking mechanism. Or we cannot break it down because it's a locked door. But we could pro probably find a way to sneak inside it somehow. I don't know, there might be some vents, who knows. We'll figure it out along the way maybe. Hey, right, Kyoko, what have you got? Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, Makoto, does Kyoko seem upset to you? Right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad! <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her! Can we go to the fucking locker so that I can explain- Well, probably it's not a good idea to explain to you guys as well. Hmm. So, er has everyone said what they needed to say? So now she's hiding information from me then. I'm assuming. Not only that, but from the group as well, from her discoveries. I think so. For serious? But it looks like nobody found any clues at all. Let alone a way, to a way out of here. Uh... I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up! Um... Can I say something? How about that? It's cause my dad was smoking in the bed! That's... no, I 
have something I'd like to report. So, you guys all remember, right? Remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost just like that one. Another one? But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. With black hair for some reason. Ha huh. ha! And they were all smiling. Not necessarily, but whatever, I'll just roll with it. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal plate coverings the windows. <sighs> so the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka? What? But how can that- Conspiracy! Motokuma must have faked it! But if the picture is real, then everyone who was in it, there would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, wouldn't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Can't be! It's a fake! But Munakuma said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then... Then you trust Monokuma's words over the people who had died? Huh? Because... That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, that's not it! I'm shocked. You told everyone how we could... I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refuse to do the same. That's not... What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on. Come on, guys, stop fighting, or all our good luck is gonna float away! Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's trying to tell... He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Y you might be right, but still. Are you still conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Byakuya! <laughs> You all have the same sunken look on your faces. You were all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. Hmm. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? Sorry! Just a second! Why are you apologizing? Leave us alone, you're not a part of this! That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are, and always will be, completely separated. So, whatever is causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Byakuya, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do some good. Such ignorance. I was in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery, today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been there? He's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell him? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we all... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath? Okay. A mixed bath? If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I'm wondering what it could have been. Well, um, now that we're here in the bath, I can I guess I could tell Kyoko the information, right? Right? Right No oh, fuck it's this bitch again. When I got to the dressing room. Tucko was sitting in front of the bench, the laptop in front of her. Tucko, did you decide to come hear what Alter Ego has to say to you? Uh, to? Problem? I already heard it with my master. <laughs> with master? <sighs> you don't have to keep saying it anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up! Stop bothering me! How about that? Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Well... No! I made Master a promise. A mm. ah, promise. <laughs> master told me to w wait here, so that what's I'm to do. Oh, oh my God! I kind of like, 
I feel like I'm talking like Jimmy from South Park or something and just inherently putting it onto Toko's voice. Huh? S suck a d d dick butters. <laughs> um, so, what are you doing? What are you, his dog? If th that's what my master wants, I, I, I do anything he asks. <sighs> you just love being mistreated. Well, fine, if you really want me gone by uh, all means. <laughs> oh, fuck me. What? Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> um, we'd like you to move. Yes. Sure thing, just kneel down me and bang. First a mega misogynist, now a super sadist? <sighs> Motherfucker. Uh, Genocide Jack is sitting in front of the laptop, I can't get to it. Uh, Sakura, can you beat the shit out of Togo so we can get to the laptop? Well. She's essentially our opponent right now. You know, there's no misconduct. Oh, uh, fuck. There we go. Let me see any regulations that attains to violence, at least. Students must reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class, or and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore hopes for your discretion. Violence against the headmaster, Monokuma, is strictly prohibited, as in is destruction of surveillance cameras. It says nothing about other students, so we are actually free to beat each other up. <laughs> a apparently. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the guilty party is not exposed, they alone will graduate and all remaining students will be executed. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. That's still um, over the air, but whatever. The guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people during a, any single killing game. Attempting to break into lock, locked rooms is strictly prohibited. So yeah, we could actually beat the shit out of Genocide Jack if we want to, Sakura. Go ahead. There's no rule regulating against that, right? So, go for it. What about you, Aoi? I know you're not the violent type, but you do hate this bitch, right? So, I'm pretty sure you have some sort of bottled emotions attached into, inside you. It's okay. You can express all that emotion outside and beat the living shit out of Jill. Come on, please. Whatever it is, I really don't want to have to beg her. Come on, Makoto, just do- WHY THE FUCK DO I HAVE TO DO IT OF ALL PEOPLE? Can't we just beat the shit out of her? Just remove her scissors or whatever, just kick her in the crotch, whatever, just... Yeah, why is it gotta be me? It's fine, it's not the end of the world if you beg a little. But the same goes for you, that is true. No, it would be the end of the world for me! Uh, yeah, you do sound like a little kid right now, Owe, you know that? Mm. Kyoko, you know martial arts, right? Can you... Listen, Kyoko, about the picture from before. He's being very thorough about pretending I don't exist. Hmm. Well, I guess we have no Well, guess we have no choice but to use force! A shot to the face would stand out! So go for the guts! But she's a girl Who cares if she's a girl? Just beat the shit out of her! What the heck? Who cares? I've already got a mountain of lawsuits waiting for me when I get out! What's one more? You Hey, Afro Thunder! Don't get any bad ideas, okay? You're totally not adorable, so I'll make sure that I know when I stab you, but it'll hurt like hell. Um... I'm strong against women and children, but not women and children that seem strong. This guy is the worst. Can I get out of here? There's no point in leaving now. Where the fuck are you, fucking... Kaku Kaku ya! Ugh. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let you us loot. Yeah. Use the laptop. Him, 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 him. Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. How about that? Come I hate you all right now. I fucking absolutely despise every single motherfuckers. That's in this room right now. 
Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was a, as desperate as I felt, finally. I didn't kneel. I don't even have the option. I just sit on my ass, spread my butt cheeks, and let her gang rape me with her scissors. Thanks a lot, Makoto, you fucking spineless piece of shit. Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> Such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness! All my pent up anger of master for abusing me is ease evaporating! So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to our alter ego. <laughs> okay! Motherfucker, holy shit. Alright, it's 25 minutes, so we'll be right back with the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned.